Hello YouTube and welcome to a, another video, I can't say Minecraft because this isn't Minecraft, this is um, a reviewing video. Um, now basically what this is, is um, me doing a review of my mouse, um, it's a Rat3, um, it's not one of the really expensive like Rat7s or 9s or anything like that, because they cost like sometimes up to 100 quid and that's quite expensive for a mouse if you know what I mean. So. Um, Right, I'm just going to start off this um, by showing you the structure and stuff of the mouse. So, um, this is it. Um, as you can see, it's pretty decent. Um, it's a nice shape. Um, it fits to my hand pretty well, actually. Um, let me zoom out a little bit there. Yeah, so it fits to my hand really well. Well, for me, anyway. Um, as you can see, it's quite nice. Um, just there, it's hard to see it, but that's the sensor on the bottom there. Um, there's a little hole just here. That's for, well, that's not actually for anything. It just, um, it's just for the mouse wheel because um, uh, it's, it helps your hand shape. Um, as you can see just here, it goes down. If I just show you the angle, it goes down and then it goes right up. Um, the reason for that is because um, you can get a strained hand if you use a, a computer mouse too much but um, if uh, this part of your hand is up higher than this part of your hand um, then uh, it stops the strain so uh, this is here so that the mouse wheel doesn't get in the way of um, making it much slimmer down at this end so yeah um, I think this is a great mouse um, one of the features that makes this mouse really amazing is that um, this button just here um, this button has two sides. It's almost like a switch or, no, or a light switch. Um, here it says DPI. I you pr pr almost definitely can't see that. Oh, maybe you can. Yeah, that just says DPI. And uh, what that means is that um, it's sort of, I don't know exact, the exact terms, but it's uh, the sensitivity of the mouse. So if you press it down, um, it will lower the sensitivity. And if you press it up, then it will higher it. And uh, just here... You might be able to see that, but um, just there is um, some LED lights, and uh, uh, when you first plug it in, it will just come up with one light, and this is fully um, adjustable. You can adjust this all completely, but those four LED lights, um, if you press it up, for instance, uh, one of them, will, uh, two of them will light up, up again, three of them, and then up again is four of them. So there's four um, settings for the mouse sensitivity right there. Um, so what that means is that in, in game, because this is a game in mouse, in game you can change your um, sensitivity of the mouse in game, which is pretty cool. And I just said in game about four times. Um, yeah, another thing I like about this mouse is the, uh, well, I know this sounds quite weird, but the scroll wheel is just so easy. Um, so... And it's very sensitive as well, not really sensitive, but just right, um, which means that in games, when you have to switch uh, weapons or whatever, and in Minecraft, the tools, you can just do that, and it stops perfectly wherever you want it to. Um, left click, right click, very responsive, um, quite nice. Um, I think, I'm not completely sure how many, I can't be bothered to count. Uh, in total, the buttons of this mouse, because that's what it's all about at the moment for gaming mouses. It's all about how many buttons it has. Um... So, yeah, in total, I think this is a really great mouse. Um, it has fully functional, well, fully functionable buttons. No, fully programmable buttons, sorry. Um, just here is an LED, which is multicolored, um, you, it, which means that it changes color depending on what you want. Um, and you can change the mode by, I think, yeah, you can just press this button. You can press this. This is a button. And in there, I'm not sure if you can just about see that. But you can see the cyborg symbol, um, and uh, that is just um, yeah, that lights up. And there's like three or four different colours. There's like blue, purple, green, and orange, or yellow, or something like that, or red. Or it might be three different colours. I'm not completely sure. But you can set up the mouse to have different modes. So you can have um, three different modes, uh, three different sensitivities, three different uh, buttons that you program, stuff like that, um, which is great. Uh, another thing, these buttons here, um, it comes with two extra buttons, the, uh, I think at the very beginning when you first get the mouse and you don't, if, if you not, don't know how to program it, I'm sure there'll be some YouTube videos somewhere if you do end up getting this mouse, but um, the, these two buttons here, um, you can program them. Um, if, when you first get it, I think they both actually mean insert, so when you're in a Word document, if you do use this mouse, don't press it and then start typing because you will wreck your document completely. 
but um, yeah, you, I've adjusted them to mean uh, volume. So that's that one here is volume up, and this one's volume down, uh, just in case uh, all of a sudden some blast of of sound comes towards me or something. So uh, yep, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, one th of the things that um, this mouse doesn't have that all of the other um, rat uh, mouses do have. I'm not sure if the rat five does have this, but the rat seven and nine definitely do. But this uh, little pad bit here for comfort, this um, on the other ones actually can actually slide back, but you can't do that on the rat three. So if you have a very long hand or big hands, uh, unlike me, I have very small hands, then you might want to have a look into the rat five or seven or nine or whatever. Um, another one other thing that this uh, mouse has a disadvantage to the higher grade ones. Um, is that the DPI you can actually you can choose what all of the settings are so obviously these four settings to me will be mean different ones so there's like a hundred two hundred and then the third one which I usually use is like five hundred and it, I think this one goes up to one thousand one hundred or something like that um, one uh, yeah so the only thing that this has disadvantage to the other ones in terms of sensitivity is that the other ones are much higher but I prefer a sort of a medium uh, sensitivity anyway so it's not too bad um, so yep that's the mouse um, the cable is covered in a nylon like material and uh, funnily enough it reminds me of a rat's tail uh, is yeah it's a rat mouse this is the cable it isn't covered in plastic or anything it's a sort of stringy nylon material um and then the last thing i'm going to show you is the usb plug adapter whatever you want to, no it's not an adapter it's a plug um this uh is gold plated which means that um it has much higher um whatever you want to call it much higher ad oh god what's it called Ah, uh, don't matter. But yeah, this means that um, it has very high. Um, it's very quick. So when uh, you move your mouse on, uh, around wherever you want to, um, this transfers it to your laptop much faster. So if you move it with an old mouse, then it might take um, a little bit longer to actually um, move it on the computer than it will now. But it's not a noticeable amount. Um, if I just quickly come over here. Wardrobe. I think, yep, here we go. This is my old mouse. This is the mouse I used to use. Um, yeah, uh, it's not very good. It's just a Microsoft one. Um, it's pretty rubbishy. It's very, it's quite big, clunky. However, it's quite comfortable and it's not too bad. The mouse was okay, but it's nowhere near in comparison to the other, to my new Rat 3 mouse. It's not completely new, obviously, because otherwise it's been an un unboxing video instead of a review. But obviously, it isn't a hundred percent new. I own, I but I, it was only about a month ago. But I would definitely recommend it to uh, you, you, those of you who are looking for a very decent, um, low-priced actually, gaming mouse. Um, because this only costs about thirty pounds. So um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I have actually unplugged it from my laptop, so I hope hopefully it won't have to install the drivers again because that sometimes takes quite a long time. Um, if you do like this uh, video uh, of like uh, reviews of tech, I have got much more. If I just quickly show you, if I just take this off of the um, thing, there's my laptop over there on YouTube because I love YouTube. Woo! Yeah, it's not an amazing laptop, it's an Acer, but and there's my BlackBerry. Woo! But yeah, I do have other stuff that I could review if you guys like this. I have my, um, well, my keyboard, which is Keysonic, even though the K has worn off. I have my Sennheiser HD headphones, headset, whatever. I have, and I, oh, another thing I have is my Arcos 5, which is very nice. It is a touchscreen device, much like an iPod. Um... So, yep, thanks you guys for um, Chelsea Duvet. Woo! For those of you who support Chelsea, please leave a like. Um, yep, so um, thanks for watching this uh, review of my Rat 3 mouse. Um, hopefully this will inspire you guys to go out and get it because it is a great mouse. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So, yep, please leave a like, a comment, a sub, whatever. Uh, if you do like this kind of video, this review type of video and uh, I will do more, I promise. Um, okay, thanks for watching. Uh, bye for now.